Once the rain is gone, we'll have to keep an eye on the big temperature drop over the next few days, as Van mentioned. Absolutely, and it's during those times the Interactive Resource Center in Greensboro opens its doors to protect people experiencing homelessness. Before the possible rain, snow mix next week, the IRC is expanding its hours. Cassie Fambro joins us live in the studio. So, Cassie, the goal is to open 24-7. Natalie, they haven't gotten to that phase just yet, but they are expanding to be open overnight from 8 o'clock at night until 8 a.m. through fr Monday through Friday, with the goal of eventually being always open. We're so excited to announce that we'll be open um, for phase one of the extension of services. The IRC's extension of services will be rolled out in phases over the course of several weeks. Because it's so many more hours to be open, we're um, starting out with every night, Monday through Friday. Beginning January 17th, those in need of shelter will be able to drop in at the IRC and access their resources, including a hot shower, a warm bed and food for 12 hours a day, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Once everyone adjusts to that phase, then they'll move forward. We'll gradually add in um, nights on the weekends, uh, the afternoon shift, and then weekend days. That will make them a full 24-7 facility, all in an effort to meet soaring need in Greensboro. We have never had numbers the likes that we have right now, and um, there is a lack of resources right now in the city of Greensboro. And so um, we saw that need and really wanted to find some way to address it and still um, you know, be able to offer the services that we offer around the clock. On white flag nights, that's when local shelters open for freezing temperatures. The IRC is seeing dozens of people line up for help, including families. Our numbers have been ranging from 120 people to 140 people. Their goal as they expand their hours is to provide a safe haven for those without shelter and connect those in need with resources to hopefully get off the streets in the future. The IRC also has laundry services, storage lockers, computers, and even access to phones. They're looking to beef up their supplies in the coming weeks, though. You can check out their Amazon wish list for their top items they need through interactiveresourcecenter.org. Natalie? Cassie, thank you.